Sharp Game here, coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com, offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. And I got a question from somebody. He wanted the guy wanted to know why do I think some brothers don't date black women? Why do I think some brothers don't date black women? And man, this is really there's a lot of different reasons. But um the biggest reason, man, that I found over the past 20 years is rejection bro it's just rejection a lot of guys um just never got past a lot of rejections they had when they were younger and as they you know it's kind of like this I, i'm gonna give you uh the average story that i hear it, it's like if you were in high school or even elementary and you got rejected by uh, a lot of black women or little black girls because you were a kid back then let's say you were in school and you got rejected by the young girls at your school where you went to and throughout high school a lot of rejection same thing and when you went to college or when you went off to start working a job or you may you might have got out of your comfort zone and completely went to another country and what happens a lot of times is a lot of dudes they don't actually want to date other groups of women but what happens is a lot of these other women be choosing they start smiling or wink at these dudes and all of a sudden dudes be like Yo, these girls are choosing. So, what am I supposed to do? And I'm supposed to turn everybody down? Or I'm, or I'm over here in this country. I'm in college. So, I'm just have a good time and make the best of it. And let the chips fall where they may. That's one scenario that usually happens a lot. And then you have, it's really three types of guys that I meant, really. The first scenario is the guy that got a lot of rejection, which is the majority of guys. That's why they end up being or dating other women, because they got a lot of rejection. That's the majority. And then there's the other guy that's kind of like me. I just test, got out there, tested the waters. I had a lot of experience. I realized that the grass is not green on the other side. You know, these other women are cool, but hey, you know, I stick to, you know, stick to my roots. So it's that type of guy too. And then it's the other type of guy that, you know, he's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like the other type of guy, you know, he had a bad relationship with his parents, especially his mother. You know, so it's kind of like he just just never got past or never worked that relationship out with his mom or with his dad. You know, he came from a household where they didn't have the best relationship in the world. It probably wasn't a bad relationship, but it probably wasn't a good one either. So this guy, you know, as soon as he as soon as some other groups of women start choosing on him he's going to you know look for the upgrade he's going to look for something different he's actually open this guy is open the, see you have to understand the guys that have a bad relationship with their parents with their mother they're wide open you know because you have to understand a lot of guys their self-esteem is in the dirt you know, because in America, women can sometimes be a little hardcore. You know, women, I mean, the rejection in a, with a lot of women in America, it can be sometimes ruthless. God, I mean, damn. I mean, some of the stuff I hear a lot of women say to guys that they don't want to talk to. Like, if a, if a guy approached the average woman in America, 
My God, I mean, they say all, women say all kinds of stuff that's pretty harsh. So see, a lot of guys, you know, they take that stuff serious. Especially if a guy that maybe got married early, then he got divorced 15, 20 years later. I mean, I know guys that never got past that, never moved forward. They still holding on to the past. And unfortunately, a lot of guys just never forget what happened in the past. And they just lump all women in the same basket. And women do the same thing too. But I found that a lot of women, they'll move, they'll at least attempt to move past it much more than the average guy. The average guy, I mean, they, these guys are hurt, man. They, they like never forget. They, I mean, you know, I'm not saying you should forget. You should learn from it. But some guys, they, they, they scared to death, man. It's like, you know, you got some guys, man, when they leave home, they never come back. Not even to visit. I mean, they, they, they might come back to visit their mom every couple of years or whatever. But if they had a bad relationship with their parents, they probably be out there. And then you have some guys that just get turned out. Really. And this can happen to anybody. Some guys just get turned out by other groups of women. And then you have to realize that it's a different mentality with a lot of these other groups of women as well. You know, because these other, some of these other groups of women believe that if you're not of their culture, if you're not a guy that's of their culture, they don't feel like you should be able to tell them anything. You sh you have to follow their lead. So that there's that mentality that's out here too. And I've met women like this in America. If you're on, if you're not of their culture, if you're the guy that's coming in with to a different experience, they don't feel like you should be able to tell them anything. You shouldn't be able. You don't have authority to lead them. So once I found that out, I said, "Well, that's not going to happen with me because I there's no woman that's going to lead me in any capacity." None whatsoever. I don't care where she's from or how she grew up. So that's not going to work. But the funny thing is, is you have a lot of guys that will put up with, with all kinds of stuff to be with these other groups of women. I mean, kind of like 10 times the amount that they would put up with a black woman. So I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. You know, th th that exists out here. And plus, you have a lot of guys that it's kind of like they take on the, the demeanor of the woman. That, that's weird. They start acting all goofy and silly. And, and it's supposed to be the opposite. See, if you get with a woman, the average guy that, that the average woman that gets with a guy she usually takes on the demeanor of the man. You know, she will start saying little words that he used, start, you know, take on a little bit of his charm or charisma, if he got any or whatever, because he's the dominant figure in the relationship. But if you're the guy and you're taking on the, and if you're being submissive to a woman, that's weird, man. Especially a woman that's that's not of your nationality. That's weird. I always thought that was kind of weird. But I see it a lot. And I see a lot of guys acting all silly and goofy with these other groups of women as well. But, um, you know, I just think a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that a lot of guys put up with to be with these other groups of women it's kind of it's kind of weird man i just i don't understand it sometimes <laughs> to be honest 
you know I would say you're better off just sticking to what you grew up with if you're going to if you got to go through all those trials and tribulations with those other groups of women that's probably 10x the amount of time and 10x the amount of crap you got to deal with I just I just don't get it but that's just my opinion you know these are just my experiences and my opinions and this is just what's practical and what makes sense to me if you want to win but at the end of the day man I always say the grass is not greener on the other side it's just a different type of grass and regardless of the woman you end up with in a long-term relationship you gotta always ask yourself who is she where she came from and how she was raised and what she's all about that's those are the most important things you know that you you must ask those four questions because you know you might find yourself in a situation that you might have thought was one way but it ended up being another way because there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out here and see what happens a lot of times is we get so focused on material cars clothes house jobs and all that stuff but all that stuff is, is superficial that stuff is like it's, it's like wrapping a gift you know that this is what it's a nice cover it looks good but once you open the gift and you get inside and you get to know this person you realize that this person is not really what they claim to be they, they, they don't they're not representing themselves the way you thought they was from the time you met them and uh, and 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 the and if you try and talk to a lot of these women about that, they don't really think anything's wrong with it. They think that this is just how this is how it's supposed to be. You know, hey, I yeah, I I did it my way, and you know, they. I've had conversation with them like about this. They don't think anything's wrong with misrepresenting themselves like that. They think that if you perpetrate the fraud up front and wait six months six to eight months later until a guy really gets to know you and and you get comfortable and just reveal everything that's in the closet or most of it anyway i've met some women they don't think anything wrong with that they think it's perfectly fine to misrepresent themselves to bait and switch and you know really but a lot of times man you don't know what you don't know and you don't really know what you want until you get it that's why they always say you can't miss what you never had but the biggest reason why a lot of guys don't date black women is because they got rejected so hard when they were younger a lot and a lot of guys just never got past it, man. Just never really faced it. Just never worked it out. And as soon as some of these other women start choosing at work, especially at work, or in another country, or at college, wherever they might end up at, as soon as these women, other women start choosing, you know, that's that's all she wrote for some of these guys and you know what most guys most black males i know they don't date out they don't date other groups of women they, they just stick with black women it's very it's regard regardless of what you see online or on television there's a there's a small group of black males that date other groups of women those numbers are not big as they make it out to be we're just black males just do it at a much higher rate than other groups of guys and that's mostly in the in the big cities that that happens or overseas but in the small towns small town usa 
it's very rare that you would see a black male talking to a white woman in small town. It's rare. I mean, it's going to be rare, man. I, I've traveled all across this country. It's very rare that you see a black male talking talk, talk to a white woman. or having they, Now, they might sneak around at night, you know, booty call or whatever. But that's more common. The booty calls, the sexual relationships, is more common than being in a relationship and dating a person. But in the big cities, it's pretty wide open. You know, you you see that you got it all in the big cities. It's pretty wide open. But even still in the big cities, the numbers are still small. Most guys, I know a lot of guys, but most guys don't date or have sex with white women. They don't. Those numbers are very small. You know, it's not a lot of brothers dating out like that. They usually stick with black women. You know, it's like, I don't even know too many guys that have got out there and tested the waters. Not many. I mean, it has to be like military or ex-military or maybe he went to college. Or maybe he grew up in an all-white neighborhood or something like that. But even that group of guys that I just named, college, military, and he grew up in a white neighborhood, those numbers are very small. So that's not even the majority. So, you know, but that's just been my experiences and based on the people I know and my travels and everything. So tell me what you think. So if you like what you heard, subscribe to my channel. Go get my books, Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. Go to my website, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash game. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.